Hello, I'm Marie from tospeaktous.com and I want to talk to you about how to make comparisons. So this can be very useful when you need to negotiate, when you need to sell something, when you need to return something. You can make a comparison between two things or even more things. If you'd like to follow along with the notes, they're in the description below. Let's review some of the simple things and then we're going to go straight for the comparison phrases that will be useful in sentences. So first of all, more, E-R, compares two things. Most, E-S-T, more than two things. Okay, And then we have a little magic word, than, that's going to help us with our comparison. Let's look at some examples. Grow, if something grows, there's no comparison. If I say more growth. This is when I have two things. More growth. I see more growth in this one than that one. Most growth. More than two things. Okay. Hot. If something's hot. Hotter. Two things. Hottest. More than two things. Trendy. We hear this word a lot. That's trendy. Trendier and trendiest. Okay, these are just a few examples. Then for the magic word, than, then, but then we need to add some information. Then the other one. Oh, I like this one better than the other one. Okay, then this one, then this one. You need to indicate what you're comparing it to. Then the larger one. If you notice larger, E-R, that's for two. So we use both here. Then the larger one, they can be combined. Let's look at some sentences. The website showed more growth than it did last year. So we compared this year with last year. The website showed more growth than it did last year. This toy is the hottest selling ticket item this season. Why hottest? Because there's more than one toy being sold. So we go straight for the est, the EST. This toy is the hottest selling ticket item this season. Instagram is the trendiest social media tool right now. Why? Because there are many other social media tools, but I don't have to say them. We know that there's more than two, that we're comparing them to all of the other social media tools, okay? I prefer to read a blog than listen to the news. Now notice, when I say than, I have to say than something else. I have to go ahead and say that comparison, okay? I prefer to read a blog than listen to the news. Your ad campaign is driving more growth than your returning customers this month. So I compared the ad campaign with the returning customers then and I used more growth because it's two things. Your ad campaign is driving more growth than your returning customers this month, okay? Now, here are the fun phrases I wanted to get to. Comparison phrases. Put alongside, in comparison with, compared to, and this one is fun because you can just start your sentence with that, compared to, indirect contrast, indirect contrast, on the other hand, on the other hand. Okay, let's look at some phrases. Compared to this one, that one is better compared to things. Compared to this one, that one is better. The traffic to this site has been rising considerably compared to last year. What did I compare? This year and last year. The traffic to this site has been rising considerably compared to last year. Compared to the competitors, the traffic on this website is heavy. Compared to the competitors, the traffic on this website is heavy. Other option. Compared to the competitors, the traffic on this website is the heaviest I have seen. So you can add extra information if you want. And you can add the est because you're talking about all the competitors. Okay? Let's take this idea and put it alongside the your existing plan to make a comparison. So this one is for the put it alongside. Let's take this idea and put it alongside your existing plan to make a comparison. Okay. 
The first year had 50% more sales in comparison with the previous year. Now, notice all of this is in the past tense. If you're giving a report about something that has already happened, you're not talking about sales that are going on right now, make sure that you leave everything in the past tense. The first year had 50% more sales in comparison with, there's our phrase, the previous year. On the other hand, the cost of advertising was significantly higher than the previous year. Phrase, on the other hand. On the other hand, the cost of advertising was significantly higher than the previous year. Two things going on here. On the other hand, is our phrase. Then we used higher to make the comparison with the previous year. And it stayed in the past, was, because we're giving a report about what has already happened. Okay. Now, in the middle of all of this that's going on, we have some special phrases. We have our comparison going on. Also, I want to talk to you about some descriptive words that you can throw in there to make what you're saying even more precise. Convenient. Okay? Things are convenient. Things are accessible. Or if you need to say they're not accessible if you're negotiating. Lightweight. Compact, versatile, versatile, portable, portable, plug and play, plug and play, turnkey, turnkey. Now, why are these important? These say exactly the qualities that you're looking for instead of, oh, it's great, it's good, it's nice. No, go for more descriptive words. It's convenient, it's accessible. It's compact. I need for it to be versatile. If you need it to be versatile. Comprehensive. A comprehensive solution is an end to end from start to finish. Magnetic. Attracts. Attracts is a verb that means that it's attractive. If you're talking about your website, is it attracting people to your website? Okay, let's look at some sentences using all of this together. The convenience of this service compared to the previous one is significantly better. The convenience of this service compared to the previous one is significantly better. This lightweight product is more compact than your competitor's product. This lightweight product is more compact than your competitor's product. Notice, we use than, we use more. We use lightweight, we use compact. We're filling our sentences with the exact words that we wanna say. We're getting rid of B verbs and we're going directly to the real information. Makes it very clear for the listener. When you create a product that is more versatile, people will buy it because they can use it in many different ways. Be careful with this particular word because what I've found is that in other languages, it doesn't mean the same thing that it does in English. That's one of the reasons why I put it in here. Be careful for the meaning of this word versatile. When you create a product that's more versatile, people will buy it because they can use it in many different ways. Our customers know we provide the best comprehensive solution on the market. Our customers know we provide the best comprehensive solution on the market. Compared to the old way of buying a house and renovating it, the turnkey solution attracts serious buyers. Compared to the old way of buying a house and renovating it, the turnkey solution attracts serious buyers. All right, so hopefully you've enjoyed this. Ways, giving you ways to make comparison between things, giving you descriptive language so that you can make negotiations. If you'd like to subscribe, please do that now. Also, there are other videos that you can check out that are pronunciation, uh, vocabulary, some grammar, and things like that. So you can also search tospeaktous.com. Thanks for watching.